Hi everybody. Um, if you saw a couple of other videos I did earlier, I bought a Tiger One Henlong, but it was a very early edition. And um, I just bought one so to figure out how they all work and what have you. You know, building a bigger one. Well, after fixing that one, um, a guy I know said that he fancied buying it off me. So I sold that one and I've upgraded to the King Tiger. So this came today. Um, now this is, this was on eBay as a customized, brand new customized um, 1 16th scale King Tiger with full metal running gear, new gearboxes, metal tracks, metal wheels, metal suspension, um, upgraded to a 360 turret rotation. Um, it's all right. So that's straight out of the box. Comes the same as the other ones. Comes with the, the instruction manuals. Comes with a nice letter from the people that do it. Do this. Toucan hobby. Um, it's got all the normal accessory kit. Uh, a USB charger. Now I think the new version, I've seen the the drivers and the signals hatch open and you can turn it on from there. This is a bit of a bug but it's still got the switch underneath and you have to take the battery out to charge it. So I think, you know, modifications for me maybe to move the on off switch. I've seen a guy, sorry, excuse me, cuts the back flap out, engine hatch. And I might put the on off switch and the charging lead in there. Um, we'll see how it goes. But, um, you know, a lot of these things when you buy them, you, you have to take a chance. There was lots of bad feedback on people saying things that were broken when they arrived. Don't buy from these people. And send me down. This was 282, I think, if I remember rightly. Free postage. The weight difference with all the metal running gear is twice as heavy as the other tank. Um, I haven't got my phone order. Let me just turn it on. Because it's still got the annoying switch underneath. So I'll show you what the sound is like. This is the, it's still very plasticky, the controller, but it does the job. turn the sound off um, you can change it when it says change the sound effect you would think it would be like a different exhaust engine note it is you change in the sound effect between the different tanks like the tiger the leopard the panther that that's what that means there um, let me just uh, turn the sound on again so this has got straight up and down turret controls, you don't have to cycle through. Now I'll do the 360. I don't want to go all the way around, I want to hit the... Uh, There's a button on here for the... Now I haven't figured out yet how to fire the main, the main gun without firing the BB at the moment. That had a BB in it, you probably heard. <laughs> it's got some power behind it. And this has got... The, the engine note changes when you... Um, Now 
Now you can set it, it's got a, a slow speed setting and a high speed setting. I think they should all be set on slow speed really because they're not toys. But it's nice having the engine tone rev up rather than the track noise which was on the other one, which that was a very early one. electric pump with the smoke, it's half the sound. You can hear that high pitch sound. Yeah. It gives you a little bit more smoke when you're, when you're driving. Let's just turn it off. You can turn the lights on and off. It hasn't got a tail light. Very good detail on the back here. Um, I haven't put the mud flaps. I haven't put any of the um, ancillary items on yet. It's got the spring-loaded cupola. The same as normal. That's where you put your BBs. That's where you plug in for the uh, IR infrared. Um, War gaming. It's got a battery on the bottom there. Just sticks on there and you plug that in. Not that I'd ever be doing that. Anyway, that was a, just a quick review of the Henlong. I think this is a Mark VI edition. The Pro version. Yeah, it would be nice to have the switch on the top, which obviously the new one's got. Um, but we'll, we'll paint it up before we get the uh, aftermarket bit grill covers. Cut this open. Now this you top the smoke up by putting the oil down the exhaust pipe and it runs straight back into the uh, smoke generator. But the sound, I like it. adjust that horrible recoil it does when it goes backwards you can adjust that got to figure out how to do that tells you how to do it in the, in the instructions okay you get a little gun to go on there and that light is changing up in here on the other one i don't know why they put the big led 